Okay, Tuesday morning in the kingdom, and the first thing we gotta do is wish my ex fiance a happy birthday. Yes, I am a man, and that is the only birthday I remember. That's because she instilled it in my little mind that I have to remember her birthday. She wore some nice little sexy outfits back in the day, so that's, I think, why I remember. I can't even remember the staff's birthday. I'm always wrong by one day. Okay, so this morning we woke up to minus 26 Celsius, but it's actually minus 30 on the Kingdom weather station because, like, this weather was, like, two hours ago, right? Okay, but feels like minus 34 Celsius two hours ago. On the yo-yo scale, minus 15 Fahrenheit. Ooh, but feels like minus 29. Yes, that's a good temperature. All right, so the me phone is in the whole shack staying warm. And also, too, since how it's my ex-fiance's birthday, I will include a picture of her in my book cover on my book cover okay that book is not free okay all right so it's included on the king of obsoletes ladies i just photoshopped it just to show enough of her to show that she was easy on the eyes yes easy on the eyes and wore those nice outfits oh the memories hopefully she emails me a picture tonight of her birthday sexy outfit you know, one that I'm not going to enjoy or get to enjoy. Oh, well. But also, too, Amazon has my 23rd book of my writing career, King of Obsolete's Collectible Pictures. Yes, it's only in ebook form because there's too many pictures. So if you went to print it off as a book, it would cost way too much. Okay, so it's free from February 6th to the 10th, which is five days on Amazon or four days on Sesame Street. Also, too... We were late yesterday with the video, and Sir Rodney sent a video, which will include today at the end of this video. So if you're watching this video at the end, you'll see Sir Rodney. Yes, he had some nice stuff at West Trans there. So pay attention, stay awake, and watch to the end of the video. All right, my arm is tired from holding the sheet. Oh, that feels so much better. My arm is tired from beating on those injector cops yesterday. Unreal. All right, we'll back up. Ooh, look at that. Crest fresh, crest fresh breath. Oh, 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 oh. You, oh, oh, you try and say that sober. All right, look at that. We're getting sun for the first time in many days. Yesterday was a snow day. We hid in the shop and had fun. Yes, look at the sun come up. Look at all that snow. Yes, we're going to have to plow some snow. Maybe. All right, I untangled the flags. They're in their natural state of being limp. And then over here, I have to rush because I'm probably censored already. Yes. All right. There's the wood stove smoke for the Swedish kid. Yes, the young lady. All right. We better go. Here comes the boss. Okay. Lunchtime in the kingdom. And I got these injector cups all even with the bolts here. All right. So they're nice and flush or whatever. Also, too, the injection cup puller I have or made is for the TD-18. So it's uh, kind of not working. But I've never seen these this tough, like on real. Okay, so over here, we need these injectors and cups. So these ones all slid out nice, except for this one. There always has to be one. I don't know if we can go to this side. All right. Oh, I'm hooked. Okay. As you can see here, that's why we're using the nuts on there, because the TD-18 injector cups are a little wider than the TD-9s, okay? So that's just a minor detail. We'll plug away. We'll get it. And then we'll go over to here. All right. Let's do a walk and talk. All right. Walk and fall. Oh, walk and hook. Ah, unreal. Trying to do this sober. And of course, we have to walk by the promo bike to remember it. Yes. What a waste of money. All right. Remember, the thieves of Winnipeg wouldn't steal it. Okay. So here we are. Okay. You can see I've had these two injector cups out and this one is factory so that's what it came out as okay no problem that o-ring keeps the dirt and everything from going down these injector cups do not share the antifreeze not like a caterpillar caterpillar has the injector cup go through into the cylinder head and it's cooled by the antifreeze so then if it starts leaking or you have um, coolant in the engine you check the injector pump cups first because the little o-ring down here goes but the key is you got to make sure you keep see the little ridge here 
these here okay that's very important all right so you can see i can't get that one out but this one here was tough to get out all right another walk and talk follow along guys this will be an exercise video okay so these are down in here okay see here's the injector tube or whatever cup tube it's um, fully enclosed all right so this goes down in here and it's a tight fit okay you can usually get them with your fingers like that and pull them out this one i had to soak with diesel and then use a fine uh, dental pick or whatever to get this to come out and these are very important if you have compression coming up around here all right that's one of these is missing or if it's not working or not seating just add another one because all you're doing is tightening it down here all right let's go have some lunch with some vodka and things will flow a little better for me okay the struggle was unreal but i got that one out number one number one always seems to be the hardest one to get out i don't know why because maybe it's number one maybe it's because that's where the how would you say rainwater and everything goes down the exhaust pipe and rusts the cylinder first that's why the head we took off of op which is actually diesel's cat head okay it was pitted well because that's where the a rainwater and exhaust goes down here we'll do a quick demonstration here here's your exhaust pipe oh, got enough talent so if there's no cover on the exhaust the rainwater goes down in here and into number one so number one usually takes the hardest hit there's a little hole under here it's supposed to how would you say drain the water out before it gets there but that never works all right back to regular schedule programming here's the hood off of, i mean the cylinder head off of kijiji all wrapped up to go into storage i wrote on it that it's kijiji's head two and three are cracked and um, cracked between the valves and two cups are still in the head okay because we actually got the oh i'm totally unprepared all right this is an exercise video all right here's the final cups that are going into the cylinder heads that's what goes into the head that's why they're kind of burnt back and stuff and of course there's the little rings yes and also too with the shrink wrap i got it all ready so when i take the mini hoe out after coffee to do snow i'll sling choke that and off it goes and then i can put the barrel away so i can actually walk past also too reason why we get upset when truck driver forklift operators destroy the pallet because we recycle the apply uh, cardboard yes at the end of the world we don't run to the cardboard store and buy cardboard we recycle repurpose and reuse so there we got a protective covering on the motor from op which i think is actually diesel motor okay i'm not sure i'm all confused well it's been 25 years all right 26 years 28 years now oh no okay so we got a protective covering on it so when he goes to the storage shed there when we get the green toy up and running then he's protected okay and then we can look at getting these diesel motors repaired because i'm just starting my retirement so hopefully i got another 30 years of retirement to be able to finish these projects so we have top or top the line running cats for my estate sale all right let's go have some coffee with some vodka in it and then we get to ride ride the hoe yes we get to drive it out this is actually working out good the little shop extension that was not planned but we again again we didn't plan to put the welder there but we had no way to get the exhaust to go up the old way so in the summer we may change things around so there's more room for the mini hoe to come in at any time
Tuesday morning in Whoville, and it's just after 8 a.m., and as you can see, we have a bit of a sunrise. There's not any clouds in the sky, so it should be a good sunrise. Hopefully, I can catch it before I go to work. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out for their morning pee, and make breakfast. 8.30, and I'm just getting ready for work. I love my new Yeti cup that I got from one of the subscribers. Thank you so much. I have it filled with some ice water right now, but if I want to, I could put hot chocolate in it since I don't drink coffee or tea. Now it's time to let the dogs back in and get to work. 12.30 and I'm just getting ready to head back to school. I am subbing grade 2 again today, hopefully just for today, maybe tomorrow as well. I'm not sure when the teacher is supposed to be back, but I don't mind it. Extra money for me. Now it's time to let the dogs back in and get to work. Just after 4 p.m. and I got home from work. I already got the skidoo out. I have to go do some shopping and fill up a couple water jugs if the machine is working. I also had a really good day subbing grade 2. There was 13 kids this afternoon and 10 this morning, so that was a lot for me to handle. But now let's get going and head on over to shop and then the kingdom. Almost 5 o'clock and I just made it to the kingdom after shopping. I bought two of these hamburgers, eight of these lemons, and one of these honeys, and it was $34 at the store. I had to wait in line for a long time because there was somebody in front of me with a big cart full of groceries. can only imagine how much that cost. Now it's time to head outside and see what my dad's doing. Pretty sure he's doing some snow with the mini, but it is pretty cold, so we're not going to do very much today. He just finished clearing out the skidoo shed here, that way if we need to get the Yamaha out or something happens to the Polaris and I have to switch skidoos, it's nice and cleared out. Now he's over here getting out a wood tote to take down to the shop. It is pretty cold out here so the Mini is running kind of slow as you can see. So we better get this done fast before the Mini freezes up.
before my dad puts the mini away we're cleaning in front of the hose shed here and the loader shed as well that way if we have to get them out at least the doors are clean it is pretty cold out here so the mini is struggling so we're gonna try and do this as fast as possible and then it can go back into its nice heated shed And of course you have Iris watching every move we make. She loves to watch us and stand there on her little fence. My dad's almost done. He's just going to do a few more passes with it. Then we can put it away. We're just pulling it back. That way when we get the cats out, we can do a complete clean of the yard here. This is just temporary to get all the snow out of the way. Five thirty, and I'm just finishing up in the kingdom. We were able to get a few things done before it got too cold for the mini. We were able to put it back into the shed as well. Now it's time to head on back into Whoville, get a fire going, and do the weather. Look at that sunset. Just after five thirty, and I made it back from the kingdom. I have my dad's laundry right there, and I got some dog treats and eggs and a few other things so I can have lunch and stuff. Because when I get off work at twelve, I don't really want to make a big meal, so I normally just have craft dinner or noodles. Now it's time to put the skidoo away, get a fire going, and do the weather. Just after six p.m., and this is the temperature we're sitting at today. It's negative twenty-two degrees Celsius, which is negative seven degrees Fahrenheit. We even have the feels like on the bottom. It's been pretty cold today, but that is normal because of all the warm days we had and then snow. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out. Already got a fire started. I just didn't do a video of it and end my day. Okay, it was a good day. I rode the mini hoe, got the snow away, all this ice that fell off the roof and everything, and the rains. Yes, can't forget the rains. So the mini hoe just scrapes it right down. We got a wood tote here ready, so it's working out pretty good. So once we get done with the cat in the shop, we can use the green toy to get the motor out. Yes, the motor. Yes, the green toy. And then we can move the snow in front of the shop here, and then hopefully get the cats out. Yes. We got the famous black cat here with the welding sleigh. We should be at the rabbit tower and getting it in the trails already. But oh well, we got things to do, cats to fix. All right. Okay, we're quitting early today because we worked hard working on those injectors and stuff. We stocked up the wood stove, the yard lights on. Look at that smoke for the Swedish kid. Yes, the Swedish young lady. Yes. So over here, oh, look at the sunset we're getting. We did a little bit of snow removal. That's good enough for today. All right. In the past, we'd have to do snow for four hours to keep the neighbor happy and plow all that snow. For what? Nothing. <laughs> we're using the front driveway. All right. Look at the flags. They're looking good. There's a slight breeze. Not much. All right, let's go walk the dogs, drink some beer, and hopefully the ex-fiancé sends me a picture of her, her wearing her naughty outfit. Ah, so I'll be missing her birthday. All right, let's go walk the dogs, drink some beer, and we'll talk to you later. Hey, Sir Rodney here again. Also, two first time ever. We're doing a little bit of a giveaway for the Kingdom followers. Joey sent me down a nice calendar signed by himself and the staff, Zena. I signed it myself, and Paul the Shipper signed it. 
So what we're going to do is a giveaway. We're going to... I didn't like part one. I'm doing part two. Didn't just don't like it. Uh, so what we're going to do is the first two followers to email me the answer to the question of the name of any of Joey's cats. I will send out these. I'll show you. Here's a guardwine calendar. There's Paul the shipper. There's myself. Johnny G the driver signed it. Both Joey the king of obsolete and the staff Zena signed it. Also too this picture from back in the day with two looking good looking guys on there and a couple of West Trans hats. So the first person to email me right there give me the name Joey's cats I will personally ship these out for you this week and there's Paul the shipper all right let's get those entries into my email right there and I will pick the winners in the morning talk to you later